Hello everyone, Only Draven here again, and today we're doing another tutorial in Minecraft All the Mods 8. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make and use the Disk Manipulator, which is part of the Refined Storage mod. The Disk Manipulator allows you to take items from one storage disk and move it to another. Now, if you find this video helpful and you like it, please be sure to click like, but most importantly, please remember to hit that subscribe button so that way you can see all my videos and tutorials as they come out. All right, so a couple things we're going to look at. Uh, first thing we're going to need to make is a disc manipulator, and that is going to be four quartz enriched iron. You're going to need two empty storage housings, one machine casing, a construction core, and a destruction core. So that'll make you a disc manipulator. For this tutorial, we're going to be using a 1K storage disc, which is a 1K storage part with a storage housing. We're also going to be using upgrades. This is the basic upgrade needed to make any of the other upgrades. And that is six quartz enriched iron, an improved processor, and two pieces of glass. Then we're going to make speed upgrades, which is going to be three, four, five quartz enriched iron, three sugar, and one of the upgrades we just made a moment ago. And last is a stack upgrade. And that's going to be five pieces of sugar and four speed upgrades, the one we just made before that. So they just keep building on to each other there. Okay. Now we've already got a refined storage built up. If you're not sure how to set up the basics of a refined storage, I will link that tutorial down in the description of this video. Uh, so you may want to check that out first. Okay, welcome back. All right. <laughs> and uh, we're powering our system with a just a creative energy battery. Your uh, refined storage does have to have an RF power source, although any source will work. Windmill, reactors, generators, anything's fine. Okay. So, grab ourselves a disk manipulator, grab ourselves a 1K storage disk, three speed upgrades, and one stack upgrade. So, let's see how this works. So inside of our refined storage, we have a couple of different items. We've got some stone, wood, planks, we've got some dirt, and we've got some cobblestone. Let's grab a few other things in there. We'll grab some andesite, we'll grab some whatever that is. Uh, throw that in there. We've got a few things in there. So the purpose of a disk manipulator is to take items from the storage disk where they're stored. So all of these items are stored in this storage disk inside of our disk drive. And it allows us to move it to a different disk. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to connect our disk manipulator to our refined storage. Now, as long as it's connected to another refined storage part that has power, it will have power as well. You don't have to run power to all of these. Power will run through refined storage components. You can put the disk manipulator wherever you like. You have a whole bunch of them. Again, as long as they're connected to a storage block that has power, they will have power as well. So disk manipulator looks a lot like your disk drive, uh, slightly different. It's got the blue bar when it's a uh, color or when it's uh, got power. So we want to move these items. Now, why would you want to do this? So let's just say early game, the best storage size you can make is a 1K, and you've got eight of them in there. So you don't have any more room for storage disks. Now, you can put down another disk drive and continue to put 1K storage disks in there. That'll end up taking a lot of space. So say you have a larger disk drive. Uh, a storage disk, I'm sorry. They come in a lot of different sizes. So we start with the 1K, but then you've got 4K, 16K, 64K, 64, all the way up to higher numbers if you use the extra disks mod as well. So you want to have a larger storage disk in here. So to take the items and move them, what we're going to do is we're going to take our storage disk out. And you can see it says stored 384. There are 384 items on this disk. We're going to take that out, and we're going to put our empty disk, whatever we want to move it to, back into our disk drive. Anywhere of these slots is fine. Usually I use start with the top left. Okay, So this could be a 4K, a 16K, but we want to move the items from the one we have onto this one. In the disk manipulator, all you have to do is take that and set it on the inside. Side that says in. Now if you look, you'll see that the number is dropping. 374, 72, 71. As that is dropping, items on our other disk are, in, are increasing. So those items are slowly moving. If we go and we look at our storage, we'll see that the dirt is moving first. Okay? So if you have a storage disk that has just a ton of items on it, maybe you're moving from a larger disk to an even larger one, this can be a very slow process. So over here in your disk manipulator are four slots for upgrades. Uh, in my personal opinion, the best uh, combination to use is a one stack upgrade 
and three speed upgrades. The so speed upgrades are going to speed up that process. We'll put three in. You'll see 282, 78, 75 is going much, much faster. But a stack upgrade will allow it to move, instead of one, two, or three at a time, entire stacks. So we put that in there. You'll see that it's already done. It moved everything over. So let's see what that process again would look like if we were to do it with all of those upgrades in there. So there's our, there's our one with 384 on it. We're going to put our 1K in here. And it's done. So that stack upgrade makes a huge difference. It moves everything over for you. And I have access to everything in my system, which makes the old disk empty. Now, you may want to use that for a couple different things. You can take that old disk, put it back in here, and now you've got 2,000 storage instead of one. Or you may want to use the parts towards making a larger one in the future. If you hold Shift and right-click, that will separate your storage housing and your uh, storage part, allowing you to use that storage part to combine to make larger ones again. Then you can put it back in the storage housing to have a larger storage uh, disk than you started with. Or you just go ahead and throw those back in there as well. And now you have some more items in there for crafting in the future. But the disk manipulator is a very handy block. It's great for moving things around so you don't have to have 100 different disk drives all over the place. You can condense your items onto larger disks as you proceed through the game. All right. So pretty quick, easy one today, but one that I think you'll find very helpful. Um, so definitely if you have any questions about this tutorial or any of my tutorials, be sure to put that down in the comments and I'll do my best to get back with you as quickly as I can, as well as any recommendations or suggestions you may have for other tutorials you'd like to see in all the mods eight. I'm always looking for new ideas. You can also go to my website, OnlyDraven.com, and at the bottom of the homepage is a place you can submit questions, recommendations, or ideas uh, via email. While you're there, you'll find my streaming schedule, links to all my socials, and a bunch of other resources. Uh, a lot of great stuff on the website, so I recommend checking it out. But that is going to do me for today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.